good morning everyone so it is the 6th of july it's the start of the race of the stones virtual 100 kilometer week so literally just finished my run my, let me get my breath back <coughs> so they have different distances that you can complete in either one go or throughout the whole of the week i've chosen 100 kilometers and i'm just going to do it in the seven days um really excited actually for it and i've just done run one um run at one i'm doing two today i have got a four mile loop around my area so i've just gone and done that and literally i think a mile into the into the run i've got some really exciting news nothing to do with running but just on a personal level so i called my mum straight away and i was like ah and then just talking to her for the rest of the run made it go really quickly and um i sped up so <laughs> It wasn't really what I planned. Um, the aim of the week is to keep the miles easy, but I felt my legs felt good today. I was a bit worried because I did um, 50 miles last week in sort of build up to this because 100 kilometers is 62 miles. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I don't know, I just feel like I feel different today for some reason. I feel like because it, I've got a focus for this week, I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, four miles done, I think at, uh, Come on, 8.17 pace. So mm, it was slower than yesterday's long run pace. So could you call that recovery run? Probably not, but still. Um, yeah, really happy with that buzzing. But I think that might be down to the news I've just had as well. But hopefully that news can be coming in weeks and months to come if, if things pull off. So yeah, great start to the week and I'll catch you for the next run soon. so we're back it's tuesday so a recap of day one six and a half k in the morning and then eight and a half k in the evening for the pub run which took us up to 15 kilometers for the day which is great last night we had an awful night with the cats it's like they were children they brought in a live mouse, which we managed to catch and take out. They then brought that mouse back in. Well, we think it's the same one. Um, and again, James managed to catch that and get it out. Then a live bird. So we have feathers all around the house. Managed to get that out. And then Lily topped it off with a dead mouse. So we were up multiple times throughout the night with them. And uh, just today, felt so tired when I woke up. Thanks cats. Now it's like to have kids. Um, so it's lunchtime now, and it's been a beautiful while since I've had breakfast. So I'm a bit hungry, a bit tired today, but I don't think without the challenge, I would have gone out and done this. So I'm on about, sorry, my arm's just hurting. I'm on about 8K, I think now. And um, hopefully gonna get up to 10 or 11K. I think I've got a phone call soon. So I might have to stop and take that. Um, so yeah, another good chunk of mileage to add to the day. Hey gang, so it's Wednesday, just heading out for my second run of the day. This morning, I was out this morning um, with a, this morning, I was out this morning. 
I was out with a client today. Um, we were doing an interval session together. So I am going to claim those <laughs> kilometres to my total. So we did five and a half kilometres this morning. And then now we're just about to head to um, our chairman's house from the Redway Runners. Um, we have just had some new kit designed um, in conjunction with New Balance. And um, so basically just given us a bit of a performance range because um, we at the moment have been ordering from a um, local company and they have done an amazing job for the club for so many years. But I think over, year, over time, people have been asking for something which is a bit more like we're calling it the performance range so something that's more geared to a sort of like race day because the other kit although like it's brilliant it's cost effective um when you sort of race in them sometimes people have said that they chafe too much and also just because of the material it's not as like sweat absorbent or basically it just absorbs all the sweat so they just become really heavy and thick so we've um james has done his research we went to a few different companies and new balance was the option that the committee chose so we're just going around to um our chairman's house martin today um to uh, basically try and get um, a shop put onto the website so that people can start ordering which is really cool so I'm going to combine my run by basically running over to Martin's house and um, we're going to be sitting outside anyway in his garden to do it so I'm sure that people won't smell me too much if I if I start to smell a little bit because I've run over there James is just at the track at the moment doing a session so he's going to meet me there and then drive me home so I've plotted a route um, it's not the most direct route, but it should be about 12 kilometres. I'm really hoping that I just managed to get through this okay because um, I'm feeling really tired again today. Um, it's not like me to feel like this tired this week, but James was at work last night and the, um, just to basically tell him my life story, um, the alarm didn't set at work, so they had to wait for someone to come out and sort of fix the alarm. So he got home oh I don't even know what time it was far too early but not early enough to get up yet so do you know when it's like that funny medium where you wake up and you feel quite awake so when you got home we were awake for like half an hour just chatting and then when my alarm went off a few hours later I was like no this is not fair so I'm just feeling tired today but come on you know I was really really like woo at the start of the week for the challenge and now it's like oh I just need some sleep but yeah 12 kilometers this will take me to 42k for the week so not too bad but i'm already playing like the comparison game there's so many people doing awesome stuff online and loads of people are like well over 50 kilometers already this week i'm like oh it's fine playing the long game i'm spreading my mileage out throughout the week i'm doing it sensibly doing it sensibly but anyway let's get rocking and rolling also to come up this route i have used um, basically follow my watch so I've got an, a thing called courses which a lot of Garmin's do have and you essentially on Garmin Connect can plot your route to where you want to go and you download it to your watch and then you just take it away so I've been using it quite a few times recently it's really good because you just have the like the um like the map feature on your on your watch and you don't necessarily look at the pace so you don't you're not worrying about the pace you're just running so that's really good to sort of like take that element away from it but if I don't I stop talking I'll actually get out the front door <laughs> so I'll catch up with you soon here we are Thursday so 43 and a half kilometers in now so the 100k challenge and today I've literally it's now just gone eight o'clock I've just finished teaching our strength session in the running hub and um, now I'm on the lookout for one of my clients so she's doing the 100k week but she's been doing it in four days so there's a trail about outskirts of Milton Keynes and she's been doing I think I'm just trying to find out where they're going to be I started? no I haven't started my watch yet so I think this is our last day today and it starts literally right by my house but um she's probably started a couple of minutes ago now so I just need to try and find pick up where they will be on the route and then I'm going to do a bit with them I've literally just finished teaching the class and James, I, look at, I looked at James and James was fast asleep so what I'm hoping is is that I'm going to run because it's going away from home I'm hoping that I can run and then I'm going to call James and he can then come and pick me up from where I am a bit further down the road um, so this is going to be a good bit of um, mileage because I woke up this morning and today when you first wake up I was like oh what should I do for my run this morning because I knew that I wanted to get some miles in before this evening because tonight we're going to we go, we've been going to Salty Forest on a Thursday 
And so I already know I've got the second run in, but just trying to figure out what I was going to do for this morning. But can I hear people? No, I'm hearing things. But I think, yeah, I need to now find where I'm going to meet them. So let's see if I find them in a bit. <laughs> Um, I didn't film much of the guys because I don't know if they want to be in the video but Daria was there, um, Steve, Louise and Adam from our running club so they have, most of them have been doing it this week um, They haven't. I think Daria and Steve have done all the days and I think Louise and Adam haven't been able to make them all but they've been doing their own sort of runs separately but yeah it was really nice just to catch up with them um, Steve I used to live really close to, um, really nice and Adam, I knew him from like the start of the club when when I first started, he was like one of the original members that was there. So yeah, it was really nice just to catch up with them all. It was beautiful. And um, like we have gone through loads of like woodland areas. And um, it was just funny because we kept coming out at different points around sort of like Woburn and Aspley, Aspley guys near where I live. And I was like, it could have been so much quicker if we came this way, but that's obviously the point of it. So it's the boundary walk and um, sort of through the trails. But this road's getting really busy now. So I've just finished just over 6.3 miles I think um you know it was like 14 minute mile pace because we were walking and running and just getting our bearings just trying to look at the map but yeah another 10k banked and it did feel like that was kind of like the ultra miles today so yeah I've got another run this evening and then I'll have to reassess and work out the rest of the week what I need to do to get us up to 100k but all going so well so far mm. Okay, what, what are we doing with this? <laughs> Behind the grass, down Moosel Valley. <laughs> So it's Friday evening now and it feels a lot, um, it doesn't feel as late as it is, it's like eight o'clock now, but I've had a really good day. Um, I have been with some PT clients this morning and then been back at home, um, a couple of Zoom meetings and just some admin. And I've been finding on Fridays recently that because of like the week itself and getting up early for PT that in the afternoon, um, I've been getting a bit distracted and not as productive, but having the meetings booked in kind of forced me to do some work beforehand and then just chatting, like having these meetings sort of like picked up my energy. So I might have to try and schedule that in for Fridays going on. But anyway, back to the running. So today's plan was kind of be just like maybe just an easy 5k and just having like a lower day like I would do on a Friday. In our friendship group, um, Anna was saying that she hadn't, um, she she wanted to run today and I suggested that we go out for a run. We went for a lovely walk last Friday and then it turned into a run um, today, but she wanted to do some walk running because this would be like a big week for her in comparison to the last few weeks. So we did half a mile walk, one mile run, and we ended up covering seven miles. So yeah, that was really good actually, because like the actual walking pace was quite quick and I can walk fast. Um, and then it also meant because of the recovery, the running was um, fairly a decent pace as well. So it's just really nice that she had a route that went um, through a place called Oozle Valley Park um, and along the canal. So yeah, that was a really enjoyable run. And I think I'm now up to 77 kilometres. So I'm going out for 5k in the morning and we're going to run the Milton Keynes Rocket 5k route, which is the route that I'm going to be doing like a P, well not a PB attempt, but a, like a 
season's best, <laughs> shall we say, for this year. Um, so it'd be good to test out the route and see what it's like. So that's 5k. And then we're doing a trail run on Sunday and then was going to finish with like a 5k run on Sunday afternoon with Sammy. So I might be slightly over but because I have done some walking. I'm thinking that these extra miles can count towards running miles and I'll be closer to 62 miles for the week running rather than a combination of the two. But, you know, it's an ultra. You just get to the finish line in the best and most sensible way as possible. So yeah, that's my aim. But some people have been doing some amazing stuff this week in terms of their running and doing it super quickly and putting the, like the miles in in like ridiculous times. But for me, it was just about being sensible and enjoying it. And one thing that I have learned this week is that the miles just have been so much more enjoyable with people. They just it just reminds me how much I love running in groups and with my friends. Um, have I felt? My legs have felt okay throughout the week so far, which is really good. Um, they've never felt like super tired. It's just about getting out the front door sometimes and doing doing the runs. So it just goes to show that by dropping the intensity, you can increase your volume. Obviously, we knew that already, but it's just proving that. Um, and I've probably been a bit hungrier the last two days. Um, but I just eat when I'm hungry, basically. So, yeah, it's not been too bad. But I need to go and sort this barn it out. But I'll be getting this done in a week's time. I'm so excited. Come on, Megan, sort me out. <laughs> that we're in an ultra. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I don't know yet. Tammy just realised she's on 64.9 for the week, so off she goes. <laughs> 